Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to use Transpush Front and Translation on WordPress. Um, and as you can see, I'm already logged into my dashboard on my WordPress installation. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to move to uh, to the front end by visit the website. Currently, we use two languages on this particular website, so it's Welsh and English. And in order to translate anything with uh, uh, front-end translation, it's pretty easy and straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and switch to Welsh language. Now we get this small tick box here uh, that uh, enables front-end translation. And it's only visible when you're logged in as an admin. So I'm going to go ahead and tick that box. And this will present us with... Uh, um, with different icons next to items on on the website. Um, pink icons indicate that there is no translation for this particular item. So if I just click on this icon, I'm presented with the edit translation window. And this is original text. This is translate to window. So um, I'm not going to be translating these uh, because it doesn't make sense, I'll explain later all these items. So, I'm just going to go ahead and move. Uh, we get some uh, uh, items here that are not translated. So, I'll go ahead and click the pink icon. Uh, and here we get translation log. If any translation translations took place, they're going to be uh, displayed here, including amendments. Now, the uh, virtual keyboard it's used for mobile devices, I guess. Um, Google suggests uh, it uses Google Translate to suggest translation for your language. So we're going to go ahead and use this just for a quick example. Uh, and here, here is our uh, translated text from English to Welsh. Um, well, I, I would only I check if that's correct, but. Uh, Let's keep that for now. And all we have to do is just approve that and close the window. And here we go. Uh, it's translated now and it's going to be translated throughout the whole website. Okay, it's pretty much straightforward. Uh, no uh, any, any difficulties, I guess. So if we want to uh, exit this editing mode, just untick the box. Uh, and that's it. Simple as that. Thank you.